In the complex web of international relations, few issues have captivated our attention as profoundly as the shifting dynamics in the Asia-Pacific region. At the center of these transformations stands a powerful, resurgent China. But as we scrutinize the landscape, we must ask ourselves, is China's ascendancy nurturing stability or sowing discord among its neighbors? China's rise has been meteoric and mesmerizing, with its economy climbing to unparalleled heights and a military structure that brims with state of the art weaponry and more than two million uniformed personnel. But this ascent has not been without friction. There was a time when the philosophy of win-win cooperation was the catchphrase of China's foreign policy. However, the tapestry of relationships in the region today reveals a picture more complex and concerning. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now, let's begin. Why is this significant and why does it matter to us? Australia is fortifying its military unequivocally in response to China's growing assertiveness. The Philippines, once a country with warm ties to Beijing, has realigned itself with the United States, strengthening military cooperation. Even historical rivals like Japan and South Korea are finding common ground, bound by the perceived threat from China. Their territorial disputes and historical grievances are being overshadowed by a new realization that they must collaborate to safeguard their interests. Now you might ask, is this merely a reaction to China's impressive growth and influence, or is there something more profound at play here? Let's examine the situation through the lens of South Korea, a country that is historically tied to China through trade and political collaboration, but which now finds itself drawn closer to Japan and the U.S., the territorial disputes, the shared grievances with Japan over World War I atrocities, all seem to amplify the divide between Seoul and Tokyo. But something has changed. South Korea and Japan have begun to bury the hatchet, recognizing that the threat they face requires unity rather than division. Meetings, intelligence sharing, and cooperative agreements are now regular features of their relationship. Why this sudden change? Allow me to answer that question with a metaphor. When the wind grows fierce and threatening, even old rivals will seek shelter together. China's aggressive stance, particularly its military buildup, has created that wind, and it is pushing its neighbors to find common shelter. Let's not forget the case of Taiwan, an issue that resonates globally. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol recently asserted that the Taiwan issue is not a mere bilateral matter, but a global one. The diplomatic tremors that followed this statement revealed just how sensitive and precarious the situation has become. Japan, too, has begun to view the Taiwan issue as a threat to its national security. The strategic importance of Taiwan to Japan's shipping access cannot be understated, and increasingly assertive China puts this vital lifeline at risk. But what about China itself, with its rich history, filled with invasions, revolutions, and humiliations, it has now emerged as a global powerhouse, a blue water navy, stealth fighters, and an extensive military infrastructure stand testament to China's ambitions. But with these developments comes a growing fear from its neighbors. China's relations with historical adversaries such as Russia, Japan, and India are complex and filled with tensions. Even smaller states, like the Philippines and Vietnam, are not bowing to Beijing's power, but actively seeking alliances with countries like the United States, Japan, and India. Please consider to subscribe, comment, and share this video. India, a nation with a rich history and a growing global presence, is becoming increasingly wary of China's expansionist policies. With the Himalayan border disputes, where skirmishes have led to casualties on both sides, India's stance towards China has significantly hardened. But what role does India play in this complex geopolitical chess game? India is not just focusing on bolstering its military might. It is also extending its diplomatic reach. Strategic alliances with Japan, the United States-Australia, and even Vietnam signify a shift in India's approach to dealing with China. The Quad, 
a strategic forum comprising the United States, Japan, India, and Australia, reflects a concerted effort to ensure a free, open, and prosperous Indo-Pacific region. Can India be the balancing force in this complex region? The answer is nuanced. India's military expansion paired with its democratic values and diplomatic outreach positions it as a vital player. Yet India's historical policy of non-alignment and its unique challenges must also be considered. Japan's strategic location and technological prowess make it an indispensable player in the Asia-Pacific region. The Sino-Japanese relationship is multifaceted, marked by deep economic interdependence, historical grievances, and territorial disputes. Japan's constitution has historically limited its military role, yet recent trends point to a remarkable shift. Japan's increased defense spending and closer alignment with the United States, Australia, and India signify a growing concern over China's intentions. Moreover, Japan's explicit support for Taiwan and its call for a NATO liaison office in Tokyo signal a readiness to take a more active role. Japan is waking up to the reality of the region's shifting dynamics, and it is no longer content to sit on the sidelines. By strengthening alliances and modernizing its defense capabilities, Japan is positioning itself as a key player in the regional balance of power. South Korea finds itself in a precarious position, with China as its largest trading partner and the U.S. as its security guarantor. Balancing these relationships is a diplomatic tightrope walk. Recent political shifts in South Korea, such as the closer alignment with the U.S., Japan, and even openness to dialogue with Taiwan, hint at a growing unease with China's behavior. South Korea's president, Yoon Suk-yeol, has been proactive in maintaining high-level meetings with Japanese leaders, something that hasn't been regular for over a decade. Yet, South Korea's relationship with China is deeply intertwined, both economically and geopolitically, particularly concerning North Korea. How South Korea navigates these complexities will have a profound impact on the regional dynamics. The increased collaboration among countries like India, Japan, and South Korea, along with other allies, is a response to China's aggressive policies in the region. While China's military and economic might is undeniable, the growing resistance among its neighbors is a reminder that power does not exist in a vacuum. Economic interdependence, shared values, and strategic interests are bringing nations together. The alliances are not just military. They encompass trade agreements, intelligence sharing, and a shared vision for a stable and prosperous region. What will define this new era? Will it be confrontation or cooperation? The answer lies in the collective wisdom, diplomacy, and restraint of all the nations involved. As history has taught us, in a world so deeply interconnected, collaboration and understanding are not just virtues, but necessities. The Asia-Pacific region holds immense promise and potential. Let us hope that the leaders of these great nations choose the path of dialogue and partnership, for in their decisions lies the destiny of millions. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us.